The last two weeks of Airminer's Launchpad were focused on customer discovery. So it means this kind of iterative process to learn about who your customer might be. That means things like mapping the value chain in your industry, so understanding kind of how the, how the pieces all come together to solve a problem. Uh, it comes down to finding out who a key opinion leader is or a potential customer that you want to talk to, then going and talking to them about, you know, kind of around what you're building, asking open-ended questions. All this is about customer discovery. So I want to share some of the uh, lessons I learned from, uh, from working with these Airminers Launchpad teams uh, and, and what I'd like to see from even more companies in carbon removal. So at Airminers Launchpad, we just had the teams present on what they found. So where were they? What were they thinking their customer was? Or who, who were they thinking their customer was? And, and where are they now? One team started by doing a lot of market research and mapping out the value chain of the industry. And so ultimately the, the value chain was simplified something like we're going to make a material, it's going to be sold to a supplier, the supplier then is going to sell it to a, a, a kind of a retailer, and then the retailer is going to sell it to the final customer. And we think our, our actual customer in this case is the retailer, it's the big brand. And so they, as they mapped out the value chain, they did more market research, they started to shift uh, their, their thesis more to, actually we think suppliers, this, this technology that we have might actually be really solving a, a problem for suppliers. So at that level, it didn't involve too much going out and talking to customers. This is all at the, at the market kind of research stage. It was mapping out the industry and you can still get these kind of shifts in who you think your customer is. So it's even that part of the process can be really valuable. That said, ultimately you have to go talk to potential customers. You have to talk to them in a way that's not about getting a compliment or getting a sale, uh, but is instead about understanding their process, understanding the, the, the problems and challenges they have, and then kind of on the back end figuring out like, okay, is what we're creating actually gonna solve this problem for them? Uh, and there was one team like that, that, um, you know, they, they started out with a hypothesis that their customer was, uh, was in one industry. They kind of talked it through with, with a potential customer in that industry and understanding, you know, this actually won't fit for your process. So then they came up with a, another a hypothesis for, for a customer and said, we think it's going to be this industry. Then they went and talked to that, that industry. And you know what, that didn't work out either, but as I was listening to this presentation, initially I was like, oh shoot, I thought that kind of second customer would be would be a better fit for them. Um, but ultimately this is an iterative process. Really this comes down to, I think this team is gonna be really successful because they're, they're along the way, they're figuring out who is not the customer, who's not the customer. And the idea that you you know pick this ideal target customer and you get it right from the start is, is unlikely. One of the things that we talk about in, in Launchpad is expecting you probably need to talk to a hundred different uh, customers, a hundred different key opinion leaders to get a really good sense of uh, who your customer really is. And ultimately you do have to go out and talk to customers. Mapping out the value chain, mapping out the market, those are really key steps and they can they can definitely help you kind of pivot your business, but ultimately you have to go talk to customers. Doing a survey, just having seen it, surveys don't really move things forward, especially if you don't if you ask leading questions. If you ask, do you like the solution that we made? Most people are just gonna check the box so you stop annoying them, <laughs> right? Sure, yes, I yes, I would buy your product. Um, that's kind of how those conversations go. So you really need to make sure to talk to people and, and keep it keep it open, have these open-ended discussions about what's your process. When you changed that process last time, how did it go? What are your concerns when you're when you're thinking about changing a process and all the, and kind of in the back of your mind thinking about, okay, if we're going in assuming that customers are gonna buy this because it's 10% cheaper, is that actually what their process is like? Does their process actually gobble up things that are 10% cheaper, like a, you know, in a, a high-end industrial uh, process? Or is a 10% process, 10% cheaper process more just like, ah, you know, it's just not that, not, not good enough. Uh, and that's ultimately what we understand with these, these open-ended questions. Another way these customer discovery conversations can go is they can kind of turn into sales calls or, or compliments. And you should really try and avoid that. I think if, if, if a customer interview if you're doing customer discovery and it turns into a sales call and they say, hey, I want to buy your thing, or if it turns into like a, a compliment session where like, oh, we really like what you're building, I think that's kind of an indicator that you're, you're probably, at, at the very earliest stage of, the, of a company, you're probably off track. You really want to be doing really open-ended questions, not talking too much about what your technology is, what your solution is, even though you love it, even though you love 
you know, a compliment about it or somebody saying, yes, I'd buy it, it's going to be most valuable if you can completely stay away from those questions and keep it open-ended. So we built Airminer's Launchpad to help carbon removal startups get better at this process. And I wanted to share two of the questions that we talk about. What is the business problem that your technology solves or aims to solve? And who would pay you to solve that problem and why? If you've got answers, if you're working on this, I'd love to hear about it. So if you can, you can email me or post in the comments. Uh, and I look forward to hearing from you and apply to Airminer's Launchpad. The next batch is open. Uh, applications close August 31st, so it's not too late to check it out and, and sign up.